We're wrapping up this week's action with six games. Let's see what's happening in the K. My name is Andrea Sachin, and you're watching Daily KHL Update. We take you to Vladivostok first, War Admiral do battle with SKA St. Petersburg. The Bears just almost get on the board just 18 seconds in as Maxim Karpov dangles past his opponent and shoots Batuka Olkinora catches it with his glove. Leader for the period, Dennis Vihara intercepts a pass on the forecheck, passes it down low to wide open Ivan Lysin, but Alexander Simonov gets in the way to keep it out. The Sailors find the back of the net seven minutes into the second period. Adam Alkis converts on a power play. A few minutes later, Altinora comes up big for Admiral as he stops Igor Giganov in tight. Omtil is still in the lead. SKA responds with the goal on the man advantage as well. Maxim Karpov scores on the rebound on this frantic play. They had to take another look at it, but it did count after the video review. He goes to overtime. Three minutes into it, Captain Sergei Plotnikov skates into the zone, takes a screenshot and beats Alkinora on the short side. SKA wins their fifth consecutive game in Vladivostok. 2-1 overtime is your final. And now to Chile Habarovsk, home of the Tigers. They get to play Yucker in this Sunday night. And it's the Jesters who strike first, late in the opening period of play. Yasin Johansson scores his sixth of the season with a gorgeous one-timer. Second period now, more on the power player. Pilot Torbin nudges it over to Igor Dinkov, who snipes it past Tansi Niemi on the short side. Moving on to the third, Amor with another man advantage, and they make it count as well. Thomas Zogarner wins the face up, and his brother Genik Zogarner wires it home. Two on Tigers now. Less than a minute later, Amor puts together a neat passing play, and Alexander Gorshkov catches in, though Shannon Twins draw the helpers. And just over a minute after that, Thomas Zogarner puts it out of reach as he nets his seventh of the year. Zagorna brothers and Slavo Shannon finish it out with two points each and Amor wins 4-1 on home ice. We're now in Beijing, China, where Kunlu Red Star take on Metal and Magnitogors. Let's pick it up from the second. No scoring so far, but it's about to change. Autumn Crackdown, Ryan Sproul play give and go in form of Vancouver Canuck opens up the scoring. What a beauty! Meter to the period now, Andre Alexianov is a one-man armor as he shoots the puck and skates to the net. Ding! He shot rings off the pipe. Soon after that, Ryan Sprawl receives a tough pass but manages to set up Trevor Murphy for a rocket off the post as well. Metal is tied up late in the period as Erico Dell converts in a power play. He caught Willem and Dennis Rasmussen with that assist. The Dragons regain the lead just under two minutes into the third period. Vasily Kochkin loses track of the puck and Red Star exploit this confusion. Spencer Funes is forced of the season. They secure the win late in regulation. Lucas Lockhart skates to the slot. Tyler Wong throws it in front and Lockhart puts it past Kochkin. That'll do it. Spencer Funes and Tyler Wong get two points each as could learn Red Star the fifth medal at 3-1 on home ice. Our journey takes us to Chilabinsk, where Tractor faced the rivals up to a ballist. The Versus get on the board late in the first. Tractor defense collapses and Slava Letovchenko beats Vasily Demchenko for his fifth of the season. Look at all the room he had. Tractor is pouring seven minutes into the second period. Better Malikin gets his stick on Andrew Kalev's shot and it's in the back of the net. Third period now, Demchenko misplays the puck. Stepan Kripanov steals it, quick pass in front, and Andrea Bita makes it 2 on after on the list. Tractor tied up again two minutes later as they capitalize on a defensive blunt as well. He get a sure buck with the setup, and Lukas Selak with his eighth goal of the season to make it 2 2. Middle through the period now, chaos in front of Aftambele's goal. He get a sure buck, finds the loose puck, and shoots, but it's fiercely blocked by Mikhail Mumkin. After Mbilis regained the lead late in regulation, Pavel Datsuk makes a wonderful pass through a maze of players and Georgi Belausov scores on the wide open net. Final two minutes of play, turnover in the neutral zone, Anatoly Goloshev plays it to his left and Nigel Dost doesn't hesitate. He scores his 12th of the season and this one is over. After Mbilis beat Tractor for the third consecutive time this season as they take it 4-2 on the road. 
We'll make our next stop at Nizhny Novgorod, where Torpedo face Vitez. Torpedo catches Kov, gets his first star for the visitors. Vitez opens for him, 5 minutes in. You get him on sense it past Andrew Tikamiro, and that's the only goal of the period. Torpedo swaps Tikamiro for Andres Lindback late in the frame, and Vitez solve him as well, 5 minutes into the second period. Jakob Juravic fires it home on a power play. Alexander Semin with the setup. Home team slices that 2 0 lead in half meter to the period as they can bet on the man advantage as well. Artem Alaev passes it to Sergei Borovsky and former Regina Pats for his first career against El Gol. Less than two minutes later, Mikhail Varnakov restores it to goal margin with a point shot. This one comes on a delay penalty call, and it's a biggie. Evgeny Artukin gets five in a game for Neen, and that's gonna really hurt Vitez. Three minutes later, Jordan Schroeder puts her better in the lead of Charles Ganaway, Daniel Jakarov's assist. Soon after that, Jafara buries his own rebound off a cross ice pass by Ty Reddy. Now it's 4 2 Torpedo. Less than 40 seconds later, they make it 5 2. Captain Dennis Boransov unloads from the blue line and it deflects into the back of the net. They put a chair on top late in the third period as Amir Jafarov scores his second of the game and 12th of the season. Torpedo climb on top of the league with 87 markers. Artukin's game misconduct essentially leads to four goals and Vitas lose this one 6 2 on the road. We go to Riga, Latvia for our last game of the night. Dynamo defend the ice against Sochi. Dynamo score early, just over five minutes into the opening period. Uvis Balinski sends it home from the left circle. 23-year-old rookie Alexander Portapovic picks up his first career KHL point on the play. It stays a 1-0 game till meter to the third. And then Yuri Alexander banks it home off Alexander Salak for his second of the year. Tie game. Four minutes later, Morgan Alice shoots the puck in the neutral zone, finds wide open Malta Stromel to his left, and the Swiss rifles it into the back of the net for the win. Sochi remain undefeated in Riga all time as they win their sixth game at the string. 2 1 is the final. And that's it for the LKHL update, but do come back tomorrow for three more games, including Avangard vs. Salavati Live and Serverstall against Red Army. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.